All right, guys, so since Operation Grand Heist did just start within Black Ops 4, you guys know I like to help as many of you guys out as possible. Yesterday, I actually hooked up two subscribers with free 50 tiers. The proof of that is going to be on screen right now and as well as on my Twitter. I'm going to be hooking up two more subscribers next Wednesday, the day after the event does go live on the Xbox. All you have to do to be pretty much entered into this giveaway is to drop a like on the video, comment down below your PSN or Xbox gamer tags, as well as subscribe to the channel and turn post notifications on. I'm going to be picking two random subscribers within the comment section so when this video gets to 750 likes i'm going to pick those winners and then announce them next wednesday the day after the event goes live on the xbox because i'm trying to hook as many of you guys out help you guys out as much as possible because within this new tier system there's no way to get reserves after the tiers have been completed and also if you guys do not get the dlc weapons when the tiers you know actually go away before the next operation you're actually never going to be able to get those weapons it's going to be like a 0.1 percent chance and we all know supply job luck is absolutely terrible within black ops 4 so trying to hook up as many of you guys as possible make sure you guys drop a like subscribe comment your psn or xbox gamer tag and hope you guys do enjoy the 10 best class setups to use within league play let's get right into it Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Iris. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever time it may be. And League Play is finally here within Black Ops 4. So you guys know what that means. I got to drop the 10 best class setups to use when playing League Play. Now keep in mind, a lot of the public match class setups that you guys run currently within Black Ops 4 are actually restricted within League Play. And that's the exact reason why I'm making this video for you guys. You guys do not go into here blind and load up a game like, oh my God, my class setups actually do not work. They're non-compatible with this game mode. Also keep in mind, a lot of the annoying things within multiplayer are actually restricted in league play as well, like high caliber one, high caliber two, the Nomad Guard Dog, the Mesh Mine, the Ajax Riot Show, the Nine Bang, all that annoying stuff within multiplayer is actually banned in league play. So I highly recommend you guys checking out this game mode if you guys kind of want to get away from all the annoying nonsense and have a mode where you can test your skills because a lot of the players within league play are going to be typically better players so it's a nice kind of balancing effect like you're going to be playing good players but they're not going to be you know tied up to the annoying specialist that you encounter in a public match with all that being said man make sure you guys drop a like on the video let's shoot for 500 likes and let's get right into the 10 best class setups to use when playing league play so now my class setup one is going to be the maddox rfb now the maddox actually got rebuffed to where it was like kind of before it got nerfed it's not nearly as good but it's still a viable option and i would recommend you guys checking it out and using it within league play now i like to run the reflex sight on this weapon now i have quick draw one and two and stock on this but instead of running the elo site like i would normally run now i'd run the reflex because the elo site actually increases the recoil on this weapon now and obviously you want to be as accurate as possible so having that reflex site is going to be the better option i like to have on the stem shot gear i'm running tactical mask dexterity as well as dead silence now what you guys are going to see immediately is obviously all the perk ones are usable when you go to the perk two you guys can see that gung-ho is actually restricted to use within league play so obviously that next specs option is going to be putting on dexterity so i highly recommend you guys doing that and within perk three everything is restricted besides dead silence so for this setup i'd recommend you guys running dead silence now I'm also, for my perk, uh, my class at number two, I'm going to be having the Maddox RFB. I'm going to be running the Reflex, Quick Draw 1, Quick Draw 2, ex and well as the stock. The same exact, exact gun attachment class setup, but my gear and my perks are going to change. Now, I have the Stem Shot, and I also have on the Trophy System. Now, the reason I'm running the Trophy System is because if you guys are playing League Play specifically with random teammates, if you're not playing with friends, which I recommend you guys actually playing this game with friends because a lot of people that play League Play like to play playing parties the trophy system is going to protect you from explosives and like concussion grenades so you kind of want to look out for your teammates if your teammates are not running tactical mass for whatever odd reason having that you know trophy system is going to really help you guys out stay in the hill and kind of control the map a lot easier without getting stunned every two seconds that's kind of why i like to run tactical mask on nearly all of my class setups so i do not have to rely on another teammate 
running um, the trophy system if I'm not partied up. And obviously I have on that dexterity perk because it's very solid. It's really helpful, you know, when winning gunfights, you know, in this game mode. Now my class setup number three is gonna be the same exact weapon and attachment setup, but I actually have on the comsec device. Now comsec is actually, you know, it's not restricted within league play. I'd only pull out this class setup if you guys are playing against players that obviously are not good and you feel comfortable not running the stem shot because a lot of people are going to be challenging every single gunfight within league play so having your health up to 150 is super super helpful and it's absolutely necessary but if you feel like you're absolutely just steamrolling the competition you want to drop streaks fast and easy put on that comsec and just run tactical mass dexterity as well as dead silence it is a pretty solid class setup and i think you guys will absolutely just destroy lobbies if you guys are playing weaker opponents within league play which doesn't happen too much now my class at number four is going to be the icr now the icr and the maddox are the two best rifles in my opinion to use if you guys do not like the maddox you can obviously swap that out for the vapor if you guys do not like the icr i recommend you guys swapping it out for the vapor as well but i think the icr is still pretty solid you guys are seeing here that i'm actually not running fmj on my icr i'm running quick draw because within league play winning gunfights and map positioning is super super key so obviously being able to be you know readied off the sprint and getting your weapon up fast is going to be really really helpful so that's kind of why i like to run quick draw on this weapon with reflex quick uh, grip one and grip two i have on the stem shot i have on tactical mask dexterity and dead silence the same exact class at number one with the maddox i have it redone for the icr because it works exactly the same class at number two i have the same exact maddox class setup with the icr just went ahead and swapped out you know obviously trophy system for dead silence these are some setups i recommend you guys copy and pasting consistency is key you need to be ready for literally anything within league play and obviously protecting your teammates if you guys are playing solo is going to be super super helpful when playing this game mode now class setup number six the same exact comsec device setup uh, with the icr I have on the reflex grip one grip two you know with quick draw and you know comsec tactical mass dexterity as well as dead silence a lot of these class setups work well in hard point they work well in search and destroy so i highly recommend you guys checking these out i think you guys will definitely enjoy these setups now my number seven is gonna be my smg class setup now i like to run the sog in league play now you guys know i don't really run the sog that much in pubs because it does not have fmj but not that many people run um you know body armor within league play thank god so i'm able to run the sog and feel a lot more comfortable now i actually run a four attachment sog setup now you don't really typically see me run four attachment sog setups this is for like my all out rush class if i'm playing hard point now i have on the stock one stock two quick draw as well as grip with the stem shot tactical mask and dexterity i do not have on dead silence because this is a setup that i'm gonna be pushing the hills non-stop you know with that tactical mask now if you guys are playing by yourselves this is also a pretty solid class setup my number eight class setup now i have on you know stock one stock two but the grip i do not have on quick draw because i have to put on a concussion this is a setup that i recommend you guys using if you guys are playing better players that typically are not running you know tactical mass that concussion is going to really help you bust out hills you also have to keep in mind that you can actually stun yourself now and as well as you can stun your teammates if you're running concussions so you kind of have to keep that in mind um hopefully your teammates are running tactical mass otherwise you can kind of screw up your teammates but it is a pretty solid class setup to bust a hard point hill and also a pretty solid class setup if you guys are playing s and d tact mass you know dexterity as well as dead silence stem shot obviously a pretty good class setup also i run stem shot on every single subclass setup that i run in this game especially for league play now another setup is going to be the sog with stock one stock two grip i have the stem shot with the trophy system same exact perk setup tack mask dexterity is dead silence obviously if your teammates are getting destroyed they're not really getting in the hills they're not running tactical mass themselves i highly recommend you guys going ahead and running the trophy system it's a pretty solid class setup and i think you guys will absolutely be able to dominate lobbies with this setup within black ops 4 now my number 10 is going to be another setup now this setup i have on flak jacket now if you guys are getting destroyed now i mean absolutely destroyed they're getting streaks 
a uh, flat jacket with tactical mask this is actually going to protect you from the war machine the cluster grenade because those two actually are not restricted within league play as well as actually going to protect you against the lightning strike and the hellstorm um pretty solid with the sog same exact weapon and you know attachment loadout i'd recommend you guys checking this out stem shot and you know obviously flak jacket tack mask dexterity a pretty good setup if you guys are looking to you know try to make a comeback within a game now my kind of wild card class setups now this is an s d setup this is actually a pretty damn good s d setup stock one stock two quick draw grip and i have on stem shot with lightweight and dead silence this is so you guys can get around the map a lot faster get to that power position a lot faster when playing s d having a lightweight within the first couple of hills on hard point is actually pretty good too i know a lot of people do that they'll have on a lightweight class setup in the beginning to rotate and they'll kind of switch to a dexterity class setup pretty solid i recommend you guys checking it out if you guys want to use a class setup like this but i'd recommend this in you know s d obviously you know within league play competitive it's going to be different from you know wagers and umgs you can kind of get away with not running lightweight in, in you know in hard point but but then here having lightweight and snd you know is pretty helpful and my class up number 12 it's gonna be augur dmr now this is actually a pretty filthy anchoring class setup i highly recommend you guys checking this one out i have the helion salve on this because if they get streaks you know did you have to destroy like a sniper's nest having that salvo is going to be super super helpful and i think that this setup is going to help you guys out you know streak up because the auger dmr is um it's pretty good man but a lot of the attachments like high caliber are banned so you know check it out it's pretty good now these are the score streaks that i like to run within league play now you guys can keep in mind that some of the score streaks are actually restricted within league play like the uav so i highly recommend you guys going ahead and running the lightning strike the drone squad as well as the sniper's nest you also can run lightning strike hellstorm and the sniper's nest but i feel that lightning strike drone squad sniper's nest is going to be really helpful when playing league play they kind of chain really you know nicely together they're really easy to get once you get that first lightning strike you're gonna be easily able to you know chain that to the drone squad and then once you get that it's pretty much a gg and you're gonna get that sniper's nest pretty easily and once you get these streaks up you're gonna be able to take control of the map and win the game now i recommend you guys holding the lightning strikes especially if you guys are playing hard point to when there's an open hill if you guys are rotating and you guys see the enemies get the hill first obviously get close to the hill then lightning strike it take it out and then get map control from that hill doing so i think that's the best possible way to use the lightning strike you can also do the same way with the hellstorm very 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 effective obviously if you guys are playing good players i'd honestly probably just go ahead and take off the drone squad and just put on that hellstorm because you're gonna be able to like i said kind of rotate the hills and gain map control a lot easier you're also gonna be able to take out the anchors a lot easier running that hellstorm because you can obviously directly drop that on where they're at precisely a little bit more precisely than that lightning strike hopefully this video does help you guys out excel within league play if you guys want to see more league play uh kind of content on the channel make sure you guys go ahead drop a like i figured a class of the video would probably be the best video to make off the bat because i know a lot of you guys that watch the channel watch me for public match gameplay and are probably gonna be unaware to what to run within league play considering the fact that a lot of the class setups that you guys probably use and i also use are restricted but i feel like you guys will be just fine playing league play because like i said earlier a lot of the nonsense specialist attachments and play styles are going to be like pretty much you know null and effective ineffective within league play hope you guys did enjoy man it's been your boy ears make sure you guys go ahead drop a like comment subscribe turn those post notifications on and without further ado you know hope you guys enjoy the video get in the league play rip it up and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one deuce